Yo, what is going on YouTube? I hope you guys are doing fantastic today. And today, bring you guys a brand new little mini series. And it's just going to be a little look in at like support at the comp level about their god pool specifically. Why gods are being played, why gods are not being played, why did they get picked up here, why did they not get picked up here. Uh, and today we're going to be starting with Kumba. Kumba just won a LAN. What? In season nine? Like what? I already told you at the beginning of this year that Kumba was going to win a LAN. You guys would be mind blown. We're going to take a look at Kumba. But before we get into that, I'm going to do a little giveaway. I've been really enjoying the YouTube lately, and uh, I think it's fitting to finally start giving back a little bit. So we're going to start off with a little 400 gem giveaway. All you guys got to do is like and comment about which god you'd want to remove from the game. There's a lot of Loki haters out there, a lot of like Ao Kuang haters, Izanami haters. For me, I'm a big Jingwei hater. She becomes meta like once a year, maybe once or twice every year. And she just removes any fun from the 2v2, any fun from the game, late game, trying to dive her. It's just not fun. Let me know what you guys think. And now let's jump into the video. Starting with Kumba. Great guy to start with. He just wanted to land. Aurora was the really only one prioing him. And let's just start with some of the problems that he had and why he wasn't being seen before this land. Some of his problems start with he has a very, very, very bad passive. In my opinion, he has by far the worst passive in the game. I think it's a four minute cooldown and he gets eight autos or not, 10 autos in the late game. I think it's six in the early game. He's basically just got a, a small little delay when he dies in the early game and then a sm slightly bigger delay in the late game before he dies. His second problem is that it's just very easy to read what Akumba is doing. If Akumba is walking at you, he's got very little manipulation of like baiting you into doing something. If he starts ulting, oh, guess what? You're going to get ulted into the air. If he starts doing this, then you're gonna get rooted. And, and it's pretty obvious that you're gonna get rooted and it takes two seconds, literally two seconds for you to decide. Well, I'm not trying to get rooted. And then you dash, you skedaddle on out of there. You ult it for CC immunity, plenty of things to do to avoid that. And his CC has to be used in a specific way. Otherwise it's gonna DR itself. If you use your three anytime other than first, the reduction of it is gonna be a lot, a lot less than what it was. So if you start with your alt and then you root and then you three, your three second mez changes to, I think it's 0.4 now or something like that, 0.8 maybe, something like that. But it goes down by almost two seconds. It very, very much limits him in what he can do. And it's limiting on how he can use his CC. If he leads with his three, you know he's gonna then follow up with his alt or his root after. And you can beads when he's either doing this, or you can beads when he turns golden and you're about a third of a second away from being woken up those are his problems now what changed why did those problems become less apparent and less nerfing on him sure we'll go with that less nerfing on him it starts with the patch 9.5 the giant follow-up to the nerfing of 9.4 this 9.5 patch was pretty, pretty huge. It was it was meta changing, meta defining. The meta has changed into this triple hunter comp with Ulers and solos, AMCs and solos. Final K played Scotty solo. Hunters now run the game in 9.5. It's about damn time. In 9.5 bonus patch, it's gonna change a little bit, but with this land, hunters ran this game. You were the only front line in this patch. And when you have only one front line, you need some sort of CC, and you need to stay alive. Who does that better than Kumba Karna? In my opinion, I think Xing does it slightly better, but Aurora disagreed, and he was prioring Kumba over Xing Chen. The only time he actually played Xing Chen was when the Kumba was banned. I think it was against the Dragons, but that was the only time he actually played the Xing Chen. Jake did play Xing Chen also, but I don't know if Kumba was banned. What you need is you need that CC, and you need to be able to stay alive. Kumba does those two things very well, especially with the Spirits Row buff build. Spirits Road buff, Spirits Road build because of the buffs to the base health and base prots. Now let's go to why what you need is CC and staying alive. When you have these triple hunter comps, your CC is very limited because all these hunters being played, bar Uller, don't have a hard CC in their kit. Scotty's got a root, AMC's got a cripple and a slow. Uh, I think we saw Chernobog, who's also got a root. I actually, I think root is considered a hard CP, hard CC, but let's kind of ignore that. Root isn't a hard CC for this video right now. So the only hard CC is out of Uller. The only engage you have is out of your assassin. The problem also comes with the fact of your assassin can never solo dive. Unless they're 20-0 and they're Kali or they're Mercury and they're 20-0 and they can just one-shot you, they can never really dive alone. A good god to pair with divers is high CC gods who can blink in and just cause a disruption so that your assassin can carry fights. Now, Kuma does that very well. 
and Kumba's very good with these assassins, or very good with these hunters, and very good against hunters. He has the yawn, which puts him to sleep, which if you wake them up, they have up to 50% attack speed reduction. 50% and that's per one you put to sleep and then wake up or you can just keep him asleep for three seconds as your team can just start wailing on him or get in position to start wailing on him. Kuba then a lot of CC to lock them down, a lot of CC to peel. Kuba can play these fights multiple different ways where he can die with the assassin or he can just sit back with the hunters and peel. That is what made Kuba so strong and that's why I think the Titans actually proud of a lot. They were the lead players of this triple hunter comp. Sot played a lot of Uller, a lot of Chernobog, and then he played uh, uh, some Osiris and other than that, but when he played that, Aurora didn't go towards the Kumba. That's a little look at the video, a little look at why Kumba Karna was getting played. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the new little mini series. And let me know which god you guys want to know about next. If there's any god that you're wondering why they're not played at an SPL level, why they are played at an SPL level, why they are played at a land, aren't played at a land. Let me know. I'd love to do a video on them. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you guys next time. See, see ya.